G'day everybody, Mark here, Illawarra Education Foundation. I want you to put your books away. We are not going to be doing any English, maths or science today. Instead, we are actually going to go for a walk in my backyard. I want to actually show you some edible plants, some weeds actually, that we consistently pull out of our gardens that we don't want growing in our lawn. And today I want to show you that we can actually eat them. But before we start, uh, the number one rule is if you don't know what it is and you can't be sure that it is safe to eat, you do not eat it. All right, stick around. So everyone, here we are, we're underneath my lemon tree that my kids really enjoy watering, naturally. Uh, so we always get some good lemons out of it. Now, under here, I'll just pan and I'll show you what we have. So it's a pretty shady area. Um, I've actually let the lawn go. I've been wanting to do this video for about four or five weeks, but um, I've had to not mow the lawn to make sure that we can give time for all the weeds to grow. So, actually in this space, there are actually two definite um, plants we can put to our salad straight away that I can just see. I'm going to see if I can, uh, I have a bit of a hunt as well, see if I can find a third one. But let's start with the easy ones, okay? The first one that we can eat is a violet, and it is a beautiful, rich green plant and the leaf reminds me of a lily pad and it has beautiful purple and white flowers it's not flowering right now and you can eat the leaves okay so let's have a look at it and so here you can see we've got this really great uh, leaf beautiful beautiful shape it's that uh, lily pad shape if you like and what you can do is you just have to pinch Pinch that off. Underneath, you have this darker stem. And so that's the first plant that we will be eating today, is the violet. Now, under here, there are also um, one of my favorite uh, edible uh, plants, which is the dandelion. Now, the dandelion uh, has many different uses. Uh, you've got the leaves and you've also got the root. So I'm actually going to talk about that first and then I'll show you later on what to do. Now, here we have the dandelion. You have this beautiful flat leaf and it has, it looks like a Christmas tree actually. It's the best way to look at it. It has these really nice razor sharp leaves. So I've got one here, I've got another one here, I've also got one here. So I'm really spoilt for choice actually. Okay, so here I am down at my shed and it's really messy and untidy because as I said, I haven't got uh, the lawnmower or whipper snipper out um, for four weeks. And so I need to, deal, need to do something about it. Now down here, I don't know if you can see, but we have this huge big clump of milk thistle weeds, okay? These are just pretty ugly looking plants, but they're edible leaves, okay? So really great for a salad. And here's the dandelion flower here. And of course here you have some beautiful leaves, really, really nice, lush. They're really, oh, look. There's one of the Santa Claus, most of it's been blown away. Okay, and so hopefully they will germinate and create some more food for us to eat 
later on. Sure. Now, here we have some clover. This is the white clover. With the white flower. These are everywhere, everywhere. School playgrounds on, this, on the footpath. And there's your edible leaf. Um, now you might be thinking, what else will I put in my salad? Um, I really love the leaves of beetroot. So here in my garden, growing really wild, we have beetroot plants in there and all of these amazing leaves. I'm actually going to be harvesting some of those leaves uh, to put in the salad, uh, make it a bit more interesting uh, uh, taste-wise. Um, and uh, oh, there's, a, there's a milk thistle in amongst my beetroot, have a look. And there's another one there actually, next to the broccoli. Just there. So usually we just pull them out and don't even think anything about it. But today, uh, we're actually going to put them to use and you can watch me eat it and hopefully, um, remember you only eat what you are certain is not toxic. Uh, but hopefully you'll be able to try it out. Now, I'm only making a salad for me, so I'm not making a huge one. Um, I was trying to pull out the um, dandelion root as well to show you, it didn't work, it broke off. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep hunting and fill this up a bit more. I'll find a few dandelion roots and show you how to prepare them as well. All right, so I've just done a little bit of harvesting. I wanted to show you the dandelion. These roots are really hard to pull out. So if you are planning on harvesting some, make sure that you water them maybe half an hour before you're going to do it um, because a few that I tried, were, the ground was far too dry and the um, leaves snapped off completely. So here's a great big clump of dandelions and see how the leaves just snapped off from the root. And then this one here, I only have probably the top third of that root. But this one I persevered and you can see how long that is see how long that root is and what you do is after you after we wash this up and the roots the the leaves here are really young they're tender they're going to taste really juicy so what you do is you wash this really well you then snap off the leaves and what you can do is you dry it out now you can do that in just a, a your oven on its coolest setting so you get a whole a stack of these you can dry it out um, for a couple of hours and then when it's really really hard what you can do is you can use it uh, as a coffee substitute so what you do is you put in your coffee grinder and then you just make your coffee and it's a traditional way to do that without coffee beans so what, we, what I do now is I just go through and I really only want the tender young leaves because they taste the best so spend about 10-15 minutes go through your harvest and then we'll put on a plate and you can watch me eat it. All right, so what I've done is I've washed our um, harvest and what I've done is, look, if you're gonna do this for someone who perhaps is a little bit uh, unsure, I highly recommend only choose the smallest, youngest, uh, freshest leaves because they taste the best. If you have, say, a dandelion that is quite large and it's been there for a while, perfectly edible but the taste is really mature it's a really strong flavor uh, it's quite bitter um, and so what I recommend it's sort of a little bit like rocket actually so what I recommend is that you get yourself a, um, the young leaves they're clean they're fresh they're mixed up put it in your salad spinner spin them dry Look at that, delicious. So let's serve it up. 
All right, so what I would add is I'd add some carrots and tomatoes, maybe some cucumbers. Make it like a normal salad. When you put your dressing on, do you know what? If you serve this up, I don't even think anyone would even know. And don't tell them that you actually picked a weed salad. Bon appétit.